days. Uh, anyway, so you let the, rat, the little rats go out there, right? And so let's imagine one of them is 10% bigger than the other. And so the, the 10% bigger rat wins. Because 10% is enough in rat weight to ensure that you're going to be the, the pinner rather than the pinny. Okay, so, so that's fine. So and then the, rat, the rat pins, the big rat pins the little rat. And now the big rat is the, is the authority rat. And so then the next time that the rats play, the little rat has to invite the big rat to play. So the big rat's out there being cool. And the little rat pops up and, you know, does the whole will you play with me thing. And the big rat will deign to play with them. But if you pair them repeatedly, Unless the big rat lets the little rat win 30% of the time, the little rat will not invite him to play. And Panksepp discovered that. It's like I read that, that just blew me away. It's like, that is so amazing. Because you see, well, first of there, there's an analogy to Piaget's ideas about the emergence of morality out of play in human beings. So that was very cool. But the notion that that was built into rats at the level of wrestling was, and they're social, they're deeply social animals, right? They have to know how to get along with one another. And most of their authority disputes, dominance disputes, you don't want them to end in bloodshed and, and combat. Because, you know, if you're rat one and I'm rat two and we tear each other to shreds in a dominance dispute, rat three is just going to move in. It's really not a great strategy. And so it'd be better if we could settle our differences, you know, somewhat peacefully. And so, well, so rats, anyways, Panks have figured out that rats play. And not only do they play, they play fair and they seem to enjoy it. He also figured out, this was really cool too, that if you give juvenile rats attention deficit disorder drugs, Ritalin suppresses prey, play. So that's worth thinking about. It's like, well, why do you have to give juvenile human beings amphetamines in school? Well, because they need to play. Well, you don't, they don't get to play. They don't get to wrestle around. I mean, that's oppression as far as I can tell. They don't get to wrestle around. That's fine. Feed them some amphetamines, man. That'll shut down the old play circuits. Well, here's the other problem is Panksepp found out that if you don't let juvenile male rats play, their prefrontal cortexes don't develop properly. Surprise, surprise, you're not letting them mature. It's like, what else would you expect? So, you know, that's something to think about. Really hard, I would say. So, well, so there's some wolves going at it. Well, not exactly. There's some wolves <laughs> <laughs> having an authority dispute, let's, <laughs> more technically speaking. Um, and a lot of it's posturing, you know, they, they tend, they tend not, well socialized wolves tend not to hurt each other during authority disputes because, well, for, for obvious reasons, it's too dangerous. And so they have other ways of, of demonstrating who should be listened to, authorities.